Hi everyone, my name is Alex Blackburn. I'm a filmmaker based in the northwest of the UK. Um, you might know me from Instagram or whatever. I don't really do too many of these videos, as you can probably tell. Uh, but this is a video about the uh, Blackmagic Design DaVinci Resolve Micro Color Panel. Uh, I always forget the names because the names are so long on these things. So I just wanted to go through the micro panel. Um, I've got a couple of cameras here. Um, we're going to flip back and forth to the uh, panel and flip back to this one to um, talk about some of my thoughts. Sorry, I've got notes on my phone. So we're going to flip back from the panel itself. We're not going to go over any of the features because you can find better videos online. There's no point doing a boxing. I've already done that. I'll kind of insert that here. But we're going to go through the size, uh, my use, how to set up the Bluetooth, which is really simple. Uh, examples working on it, because we'll do some screen capture stuff in a sec with DaVinci Resolve. Um, it's effectively like learning a new keyboard. Um, color grading, it's, it's, whole, it's a whole alchemy, you're stirring the pot constantly. Um, lots on the be all and end all. You've got to know what's happening with that, what's happening with those things as you put you know a look or a color it color grading and color correction are totally different things you know um and we're going to talk a bit about the bold uh, bold quality the uh, i'm bold the uh, build quality and some final thoughts on whether whether i'd recommend it or not so let's get cracking so this is the black magic panel i've plugged it in because i'm currently charging it it's a lovely piece of kit it's got some real nice weight to it i've not actually weighed it yet and the only reason I'm plugging that in uh, because it's got an internal battery. So the only reason I leave the cable in because it's convenient. Uh, I have used it on portable projects. I've taken it out with a laptop. I've done grading in the outside when it's really nice weather because it's currently nice weather in the UK. Um, but yeah, it's super portable. The battery lasts me all day. And honestly, I'm, I'm not being paid by Blackmagic or anything for that to say that. But the the, it lasts a long long time so uh, that's the first thing i'll probably talk about is the bluetooth how to connect that and show you how to do that so let's dive in i'm doing this on a pc it's dead straightforward on a on pc and it's dead straightforward on a mac but i want to show you on a pc so switch into the device here confidently unplug this sorry this uh, this isn't a cell phone this is a scratch from my dog um so it's got a let me see if I can zoom in here because I'm using a a DZO film cine lens, which is which is nice. So this is the back of the device itself, got all the buttons there. And to sync it with Bluetooth, you just keep your finger on the Bluetooth button until the blue light appears, and then it's discoverable. So this is on a PC. It's currently in dis indiscoverable, so we switched over now. And we're going to add Bluetooth device, Bluetooth should pick it up straight away micro color panel don't know what the unknown device is micro color panel and that's it that's it it's that simple um the bluetooth is really nice it it's only effective really the bluetooth is only really good for me if i'm like gonna take it to another editor's house that doesn't have a panel like this um but you know you don't need cables for this it's a really lovely device. Hopefully that's sharp enough. I'm using a Sigma lens at the moment. Uh, but it's, the build quality is absolutely lovely. Um, the iPad tray is kind of useless to me. Maybe I'll put some pens in there. But it's kind of no use to me, really. Um, but I absolutely love this. So, yeah, the build quality of this is really nice. Uh, you can hear... You can hear the balls there. You can hear the balls. But they're really lovely to work with. Um, I've never had a colour panel like this before, but this is absolutely beautiful piece of gear. And for anyone that wants to start colour grading or colour correction or that kind of thing, I'd go for this one. Um, I got it from Pro AV in the UK. There's a full guide, which you get in the box, which details you how to set up and the uses of it, the tech behind it. That's really nice. There's probably a, a free PDF on 
Blackmagic's website as well. Shows you all the buttons. There's so many buttons on this. And there's a shift key here. There's a shift key uh, just here as well. You can press that and you can press another button and it's actually a double doubles up like playing pressing shift on a PC or a Mac. This is a really cool feature. I've got to show you this. So when you launch your Resolve project, the lights come on. So it's all lit now. The lights come on. Nice little focus there, if I do say so myself. The lights only come on when you start Resolve, so it doesn't waste any battery, uh, which I absolutely love. Um, you get a, a USB-C cable in the um, in the box, but yeah, I'd highly recommend the DaVinci Resolve DaVinci Resolve black Micro Color Panel. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of kit. I'm not sure what it weighs, but it feels pretty solid. I'm confident about putting it in the bag, but. If you're traveling with it, I'm not sure how you protect these buttons uh, and these knobs. So hopefully Blackmagic will bring out a cover to go over this or a little soft case. That'd be nice. Uh, but that's something I recommend to Blackmagic to bring out a soft case. So yeah, absolutely lovely device that. And if you've got any more questions, please ask me and I can answer them on Instagram, on YouTube, anything like that. So that's it. Dead short video. I was going to show you some footage from my documentary and how it works with Resolve, but I can't because I'm under uh, strict instructions from uh, the uh, other producer of the film and not to show any of that. I can't do any of that yet because uh, the post-production is going to start on that, but I'll throw up a couple of shots I graded with this panel. We'll do that now. But yeah, I'd highly recommend the micro color panel from Blackmagic Design. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to get some stock soon and yeah, please check it out. Please check out my film when it comes out and see you all soon. Bye bye.